Good evening, everybody. This is Rogan and I, and welcome to part 17 of this thing. In the last part, we explored a pretty big chunk of Tubba Blubba's castle, now Lady Fantana's castle. And in this part, we're going to be doing a big chunk more. I took the liberty of clearing the clubbas out of this room off-screen. And I also noticed that Stanley mastered the Power Rush badge, so I've stuck the feeling fine on him now. No more poison and dizziness for him. If we take the path to the north, we'll find something extremely important for Ashley. Of course, the guest bedroom we saw before doesn't come unguarded. So, we're gonna be fighting a pack of Shy Guys. I'll shove a bunch of group attacks down their throats. Unfortunately for us, they are pretty fast. But, they're also pretty good at missing. Well, can't win them all. At least the regular attacks aren't too damaging. They can dodge Ashley's overpowered magic, so I guess it's not quite overpowered. They seem to like picking on Ashley. And that is the end of this little troopette here. Yay, a fire flower! That is one huge bed. And we've just received Ashley's second Elemental Rod badge, but we're not going to be using it yet because she hasn't mastered the first. We'll give this club a nice awakening, but first we'll heal ourselves up. Nothing that can't be blown away with lightning. And also quake hammered. Take those bashings, Stanley. We'll show them we're stronger than their hate. Seriously, dudes, quit ganging up on him. No doubt the attack you're gonna do is also for Stanley. Too bad, dudes. Huh, this one's awake. You know this area's gotta be important. Ah, case in point. Another gang of ogres to be cut down. It's too bad I forgot to give Ashley some sugar. Yes, I heard it. We'll use an earthquake. Yep, that's what Earthquake does. Summons a big angry rock. Ah, and now they're dead. Since I don't like the looks of this room, let's heal ourselves up and flower point ourselves up. Oh, this is just lovely. Well, there's a giant phanto on the floor, I'm not disagreeing. I'd argue, but Ashley's always right. Looks like the lady's been doing some renovating. Oh dear. It talks and it laughs weirdly. I assume it does have some authority. This thing is a Phanto Adept. It's like a Phanto Mage, except it's more Adepty. It floats, so Hammer's not gonna work, but Pink does. True to its Adeptiness, its attacks hurt more. It also seems to take hits better than its Phanto Mage's inferiors. 
that also seems to be slightly better at smashing Ashley with its face. This thing is Speedy Breeze, the Air Rod support spell. It raises your agility some and your dexterity a little bit, also your evasion. Well, not really a whole lot, but I would like to be faster than it. Jumping seems to work pretty good on these things. Aw, oh, crap. Yes, the Phanto Adepts can summon lesser things. We'll have to clear them out next turn. If we don't, obviously they'll make the combat a bit more complicated than it needs to be. Surly Squall isn't going to work that great on either of the Phantom Mages, but it does help. And it has the ability to heal itself. They're resistant, but not immune, so I guess it's good enough for me. Well, at least it's on the guy who couldn't care less about Locke. I might want to consider using Multi Stomp. There they go, attacking poor Stanley again. Maybe I'll give that free Fire Flower a shot. Check it out, we can heal too, you orange and yellow shuppet. Well, that did as well as I could have hoped. It kind of makes Stan's multi-stomp a bit useless, though. He's already locked, dude. These guys aren't that tough. It shouldn't take that much longer. Hopefully it won't heal itself again. Alright, nice job, Stan. Oh, I think... Oh, we all leveled up. Yes, yes, we understand the minion speech. What, is her heart located in the windmill? The truth is a lot less impressive than you would think. One has to wonder about your mechanic skills back on Earth. So now that we destroyed that artifact, we should be able to get to the top of that tower on the first floor now. It's just a matter of getting back to it. All of the enemies on the first floor have respawned. Well, Ashley's out of gas, and the group is all kind of damaged health-wise, so... Just find another convenient water grate. Actually, this time there really isn't any other way up to the third floor. Fortunately, you can unlock the door on the first floor from the other side, just like you could with the front door of the castle. So if you want to duck out to get more items, it's a lot easier now. You do kind of have to put up with these assholes, though. Let's just blow them away with group attacks. Who needs tactics when you've got earthquakes and lightning? And spraying cans you can use as clubs. That's a nice gimmick, sir, but I'm sure it's not going to help you. Who beats on a little girl, anyway? Well, she can kill you. Another ogre praying to Jesus for better beating power. And lightning was his reply. I'm running out of sugary shit. Good thing I'm almost finished this chunk. I'll pass on showing this combat. These masked mooks are getting pretty old hat. It's just a straight jaunt to the tower. We've seen all of this stuff before. Fortunately, since this guy's sleeping, I can sneak around him. 
Better still, the guard that patrols this area is gone for good. Note that the masks on the wall are not all glowy and the areas are not all creeped out. Seeing this large imposing door here is a good sign. Yep, in this castle we have to go into jars. It's another nice little callback to Super Mario Bros. 2. This guy's also from Paper Mario 64, in case you guys didn't know. You're entitled to be surprised, we had to go through a lot of crap. Yeah, but why are you here in this absurdly spacious jar? You're a key, how ambitious are you? That is cooler, I'll have to admit. Lady Fantana's heart? No, I'm a tiny bit more original than that. The same outcome occurs no matter what you choose. I'm pretty sure you guys know what's going to happen next. We're going to be chased by an asshole for the next 10 minutes. If you've ever played Super Mario Bros. 2, yeah. <laughs> oh no! Unfortunately, this thing will not stop attacking us until we reach the windmill. And, true to the game it comes from, it's pretty much completely invincible. As you can see, it attacks by colliding into you, which does massive damage. Fortunately, the damage is pretty variable, and it's not all that accurate. If it makes a smacking noise as it zooms by, it hit ya. Otherwise, don't worry. You can still access the menu without worry. So if it beats the snot out of you, you could always just heal yourself back up. Ah, oh, here we go again. Stan just got smacked down. Oh, <laughs> devastating. No! No dilly-dallying now. Hopefully I can get a run right off the bat. Oh, great. Awesome. Oh, son of a bitch. Crap, 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 crap. Oh, God. Oh, God, only two steps. Well, Gary just got a face full of damage. Shit, let's get out of here. Well, at least it missed her. Please, just let me run away. Oh, good, it didn't kill him. Now let's let the Phanto patiently wait as we pick up the pieces. Oh, here we go again. At least we're almost out of the castle. The Phanto coming at me like that kind of creeps me out. Oh, that's just great. But at least it's a regular enemy. Something that we can actually fight and kill. Too bad I didn't kill it when I had the chance. A Quake Hammer from Gary. May the Lord guide my weapon straight and true. You had to miss. You gotta make this as much of a pain in the ass as possible, eh? Just swing away, guys. Excellent, excellent. Now let's continue running from the mask, patiently waiting for us. Ugh, Phantos. Oh. 
Gotta get to the windmill so this thing stops pestering me. And it takes me to this weird battle dimension. I was wondering when the BGM was gonna kick back up. Oh sweet, I think I managed to avoid that one. Cool, two in a row. I guess you can't avoid them all. At least the last few times I ran into it, it was easy to run from. Ugh, here we go again. Damn it. <laughs> oh, it is kicking the crap out of us. <laughs> God, no. We gotta heal ourselves up before we get Phantoed again. Hopefully that'll be good enough, because here we go again. Your face should get out. Well, at least it's not dealing with a Phanto. Unfortunately, since we're kind of low on flower points, we can't just blow them away. We're gonna have to kill them the traditional way. Or they could escape and make me waste valuable flower points doing Quake Hammer on them. Oh, great. <laughs> they probably saw that I was busy with something. Jeez, this is such a pain. At least it's almost over. And at least I can avoid this Goomando. The Artichoker up there is easy to avoid. Hopefully I can instantly run from this guy too. Awesome. Okie dokie, we've made it to the area that has the windmill. Hopefully we don't have to worry about the Phanto pestering us. Whoa. It's doing a lot of swooping on us. Even Ashley's losing her patience with the situation here. Oh, good. Yes, that was pretty stressful. And this is the inside of the windmill. In this version, it doesn't have a well we can drop down into, but we do have a water grate right here. There's also a star piece if we comb this wall here. In the next one, we're going to be investigating the area underneath the windmill. I had the bright idea of expanding it into a full-size dungeon. In any case, I think we're going to be cutting this short. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this stuff, um, like, fave, and subscribe. It really makes me happy to see. I shall see you guys later.